Toad was great, though. The Toad did some wonderful work. Uh-oh. Servers? They're back. I respect it. I respect it, kind of. There's no seahorse iguana, but it's doing something. I don't know, man. Round one, I'm not that impressed with myself. How about we'll be a loose teapot? How about a magical teapot? You're an ostrich hater? Guy who has seen me roll past the ostrich one time. Getting a lot of hater vibes from this. We're going to lose to a cockroach. That's an embarrassment. Getting a lot of South Cincinnati vibes from this. Okay, hold on. Strawberry. We needed that. <laughs> uh, and you know what? So there's two ways you could play this. You could buy a cockroach. They're, they're all bad, by the way. You could buy a cockroach, give it a strawberry. You could give a strawberry to your rat, which you don't want to do. You could buy a kiwi and give a strawberry to it. Or you can give a strawberry to a bird. I think you have to give the strawberry to the bird. Although I am bothered because I do also believe that probably... Well, I think there's a few ways we could play this. We could roll multiple strawberries or we could level up our bird and, dare I say it, look for a cassowary. Yeah, the bird does not self-buff. That's the problem. That's the issue. But I think, I think I'm a respector. I think we're going to sell... I think we're going to buy, sell. I'm not a big jelly guy. But I'm willing to give you a chance, okay? I don't dislike a toad. In fact, I would say quite the opposite. And for the time being, I know you're not going to self-buff. Why doesn't the jellyfish just get something to make it have a little bit more utility? We can sell the rat next turn. Figure out what the hell we're going to do with this strawberry bird. What the hell? <laughs> oh, we draw these? Thank you, Toad. Thank you. Okay. How about an iguana that gets a strawberry... Sell the rat. I mean the mouse. Buff the iguana. Because the toad's sticking around. Freeze the jellyfish. A second iguana. A seahorse. That's, that's just what you want right there. A seahorse is also great. No levels upcoming. That's okay. I'll live with that. Toad, strong iguana could do some work. Owned. Okay, we'll take those. Toad strong, I'll suck off anyone. So Justin's gonna be on the stream in a bit, okay? You can save that for when Justin's here in a little bit. God, a jellyfish leveling up would mean the freaking world to me, man. Because, although this, all, you're also like a mover. Are you just like a strictly better seahorse? Not really at all. Freeze me, though, because I think we can get a level up. I think if you got a level two jellyfish and then you started leveling up all your other units, you would be like, what? Stats are unfortunate here. Oh, no, our, our order is all messed up. What the hell? Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's 
getting shuffled around, man. Okay, dump your seahorse. Jellyfish at the front. I know it's a little strange. Put a little donkey back here. Level up. Helps out our jellyfish. I don't really want to sell anything to buff a strawberry friend right now. I don't know. I'm torn on this one, but I'm not uh, my donkey. What the hell? Okay, I see that great minds think alike in this game. <laughs> Hamster jellyfish seems pretty good. Maybe. We'll, we'll see if it pops up. I don't, I don't have an answer for that. You may be right for all I know. Don't really want a bird here. Honestly, there's a part of me that says if you get rid of this bird, it makes the toad and iguana work better together. There's another part of me that says this is like almost our best unit, though. And we, we give you HP to the unit with the lowest health. You're going to probably give HP to the iguana. I don't know if I want that. I think I'm rolling, but I probably... Okay, okay, okay. You level up. This is what we wanted to see. You give me a zebra that has a buy sell on it to begin with. I'm going to sell you. I'm going to buy you. You're going to hit the toad on the cell. That's terrible news. I don't really like the buy cell here. You would get a buff from a strawberry friend, but I think we can do better. You're now going to buff our orangutan. or You're, you're going to buff our toad, which means that our toad is going to go before the iguana. It's all coming together. Yeah, yeah, get pushed back there or whatever. And then push me around a little. Excuse me. Oh, you didn't get moved. You just got weakened. That's fine. That's fine. Hold on. I'm sorry for party rocking. Now the team is working as it's supposed to work again. The iguana is going to level up. Our jellyfish is going to get better. Dude, I gotta tell you, I just really like a zebra. <laughs> I would sell an orangutan. Although the orangutan's buffing the right unit again. Ah, screw it. We'll just get another one later. Okay, sell it. That's fine. No sweat. Still don't respect the platypus. No buy sell triggers. Freeze me then. Okay, I think you buy a ham star. That way we get gold back from our rolls even into the next turn. I don't want your, your buy-sell trigger. I don't want your buy-sell trigger. I want units I already have. Okay. None of them? That's fine. Let's go! Nice mantis. Just kidding. It's dead. No sweat, man. No sweat. We draw these. Okay, I'll take a draw. Levels incoming? Perhaps a, a level for our jellyfish? Dude, our jellyfish is not scaling the way I want it to scale. But I'll tell you, there is a part of me that's like, hold on. What if you were to, like, sell... Something... <laughs> to put your to put the jellyfish stats into a more effective unit I gotta I gotta go to the bathroom man I can't think this through I could I guess you could sell a donkey just let me think about it for a second okay I was like, I can't sell anything on the team except the hamster. But if I want... Okay, well, I guess you just sell the hamster. But what do I want to... Then we can sell the jellyfish. Or no, you know what? Hold on. I got a great idea. Sell the hamster. Swap jellyfish and toad. So that the toad will always go before the iguana. Sell the frog. 
Now the jellyfish can go. It can be gone. We already gave its buff to the toad. So the toad and the iguana and the donkey are all synergizing quite nicely together. Then we can have a stegosaurus that buffs. Uh, it shouldn't be the donkey, though. It should be whatever our front unit is, probably, because we need the donkey to be to trigger on faints. We also want the iguana to live. So it's a little it's a little sus here. Let's give everything more HP for now. And you're going to give 9-9 nine, nine to the unit in front, which is still really good. But we're probably going to want to get rid of this jellyfish soon. We got the benefits out of the jellyfish. Now it's time to, to dump it. Oops, you're dead. I mean, hurt or whatever. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay. What the hell? Um, yes. Yes. I mean, I guess. Maybe maybe we'll keep the jellyfish and it'll get some sick buffs for us. That, w that seemed like a pretty easy turn. I don't see any good foods on our uh, on our opponents, and it scares me. But it also inspires me. The reason it inspires me is because maybe we'll be okay. We're not going to be okay. <laughs> we're close though. Those strawberries are going off. Then are we on lethal? Can we do this? We're on. We're on lethal. Come on, tier sixes. We're on lethal. We do have a tier six, so we can't send a lion out there. Not that it would really necessarily benefit us that much to begin with. Give me one of these. Freeze me a taco. I don't see a buy sell hooking us up here. I'm just being honest. I don't see a buy sell hooking us up. I'm putting my faith in Team Wood Games. Just take two extra stat points. <laughs> it's going to be a super lion. Just chill for us. It's not a super lion, but it is a strong unit. But we're going to weaken it. We're going to move it to the back. It's going to come to the front. We're going to hit you. We're going to move you. We're going to smack you. We're going to hit you. We're going to smack you. Let's go. If only weakness stacked. Okay, here's the deal. We're definitely going to give you one of these. I would definitely freeze this. I would roll. Give coconut to a strawberry friend. No, 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 no. I, I put my faith in Team Wood Games once more. Twenty twenty seven jellyfish. I'm not totally sold. This team just seems much stronger than me, quite frankly. But we can whittle. That's what we're good at. We're a good whittler. Mm, we're going to get our ass kicked, actually. <laughs> okay. But at least we paid out the believers. Dun, 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 dun. That was, like, fine. The problem with it... I think we had way too many, and this, you go through like a natural phase with this, right? We had way too many units that we felt like were untouchable because they all synergized to do the same thing. This is not good. <laughs> like we had a squad that felt like it was untouchable. Let's be a sticky banana. It felt like it was untouchable because every unit synergized more or less with like the move me around and then shoot me sort of strategy we had going on. I really... Oh, that's fine. All right. We'll take our draw. I know stats beat synergy, but we got to figure out like a way to... Um, 
get stats reliably. <laughs> it's, been, it's been hard, man. By the way, I actually think there's something to this. Sure, why not? The pandas seem to go in order from right to left for some reason. Maybe it's like a hard-coded edge case. So we stack up all of our buffs on one unit. That doesn't seem that bad. Oh no, my cockroach. Little, little panda chain actually seems to be kind of sick in the early game. Okay, you're obviously gone. You're obviously going to join the squad. We're going to combine you so we can get a little iguana action, but we don't want to stick with this long term necessarily. You're going to be part of the squad. Maybe you're going to be part of the squad. I don't know yet. Okay, I see we got a very similar sort of team going on here. That's unfortunate for me. Maybe it makes no difference at all. I don't know. No, it makes a difference. <laughs> I really don't want to run a stork. I would really like to level up is the thing. For the moment, I'm going to give you some stats, man. Like, even if this scaling seems pretty weak compared to pack one. If it's, if it's strong relative to pack three, I'm okay with that. I think last round was like as good as the jellyfish can be. And it wasn't that good. So I think that tells us everything we need to know about how my current mental model works for the jellyfish. I, I love the idea of a salamander popping, and I love the idea of a starfish popping. I'm going to go sicko mode. I'm going to abandon what I already have happening in the game. I'm going to sell two birds. I'm, I'm pivoting to late game on turn five. I'm going to buy a starfish. I'm going to purchase a salamander. We're not going to go hard into this, you know, like movement meta. Don't worry about that. Now, get, we're looking for on sell abilities and on start of battle abilities. I'm going to sell my iguana. I'm going to buy. I'm going to sell. I'm going to buff. I'm going to roll. Start of battle. A start of battle trigger. Okay, now that buffs the salamander. Now, I don't know if this is how this is going to go down in the best way possible. Okay, I'm just... I'm just trying to do my best here. This it, I'm more comfortable with this team moving into the late game than the team that we had that was all about movement. Although a, a toad is uh, it's always a problem. Don't get me wrong. A toad is a strong unit. It's one of the strongest in the damn game. I think it can work. There's a cell trigger. Sell you. Buy you. I really hate that you're going to buff our seahorse, but that's okay. Sell, start a battle. Buy me, sell me, start a battle, buy me, roll me, looking for start a battle, then sell, nothing, okay, guess what, we sell the puffin anyway for some gold, we take a damn pill bug, it's giving HP to no units, it's giving HP to no units because there's no units behind it. You know what? We'll just call that a flex. <laughs> All right. It would have been nice for you to not be a back pill bug, but that's okay. 
sell me. Okay, while we're here, level up. You're a start of battle unit. I'm just buying you because you scale. A starfish. I love to see that. Sell me. Freeze me. Sell me. Buy me. Freeze me. All right, we are on lethal. This looks really bad. It looks good in no sense of the word. Yeah, we just lost, like, instantly. All right, choose outcome. We'll pay out the doubters on that one. <laughs> Starting to think that probably was not the right strategy. Start me off again. Literally all my points. Okay, then don't go all in, you joker. Just bet like 10% of your points. I don't get it. Like if you're addicted to gambling, wouldn't you want to keep your ability to gamble as long as possible? You got to do some bankroll management. Let's be a, a cartoony fish. No, I want to win big. Then don't gamble. Go to school. <laughs> Now open your own casino. That's the only way, man. The math has been... Is written in like the 16th century. You're not beating the casino on this. Okay, look at this. We're throwing our first two rounds as a meme here. Then this is going to work for us. I don't even care about you. I don't even care about you. Give me some stronger units next turn. Why are you buffing a mouse? I mean, it's either a mouse or a, a kiwi. Both of the both of those units are being sold regardless. Doesn't matter. It's all about buffing the seahorse. Okay. I'm still going to sell you. Um, so you give 2-4. I bet if I buy you and combine you, you give 2-4. This is a weird... Hold on. I'm like... I'm going to pay three. I got to evaluate this. Bye bye. I spend three gold. We get two, four, two gold back. We, we spent one gold. If I buy another one, I spend three gold. Then when we sell all three of them, we get three gold back. And we get three, six. Yeah. But we would also go one tier up. I think you don't level. Although you do get the higher tier. It's an interesting thing to consider. I say... You know what? I feel like we've been losing because we've been having not so good animals. We get committed in the early game. Let's give ourselves a chance to get something that's a little bit more interesting. Then we can sell you and you'll still get... You'll give 2-4. It's unfortunate to lose the stats, but we still get an old copy, which is, you know, probably substantially better, I hope. Now, honestly, I'm going to take a pug just because you're... No, it's a temporary 1-1 one, one buff. That's not as good as a giraffe. Use your brain. Roll me. I feel like I would rather have a 1-1 one, one on my Okapi than two of these animals. I would definitely rather buy a 2-2 two -two that gives us a temporary 2-2. Two -two. But I'm not really intending on keeping this hummingbird or probably the seahorse either long term. So we might as well take some Okapi buffs. I don't really care about the faint trigger either. All right. So now we want to see like a hamster. This seems bad. Pug jellyfish OP. You know what? That's something I hadn't considered. That's an interesting thing to think about. Okay, one of those. Might as well sell me. 
I'm going to say buff the Okapi for now. You're going to be more of a part of this squad than anybody else. It's round four. We'll level you up next turn. I'm going back to sane mode. I'm no longer going sicko mode. I'm going back to sane mode. For the time being, sure, I'll 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 get an I'll pre-order an apple. How about that? So you can temporary buff the Okapi and then swap the stats with the frog, but and this is the nasty catch, okay? Whatever you swap it to, the stats go back down to what the Okapi's base stats were. Okay, it says give a pet a cucumber. But there's no cucumber. Level me. Right now, this does nothing for us. But if we get... I feel like this really only works with a mantis, man. Buff the Okapi again. I'm going to get it anyway, just because it's got some stats associated. Roll me. Roll me. Bro, this is like so, it's, it's unfathomable. Give me an Okapi, please. We need to get our Okapi to level two. Stop giving me m mice. It's turn five. I'm over it. Okay, well. I don't really think we need our seahorse to level up, quite frankly. I don't even know what a leech does. I guess a leech could, in six turns, a leech could make a blobfish faint and give one permanent experience. If that's what you need to do in order to get um, one experience that can only go to the leech, then I'm not willing to engage with that. I'm sorry to tell you that that's not going to be part of like my worldview for the future. That's such a great idea. Doubter spotted. Roll me. A second, though, copy. Okay, now that's... I think for the time being, how about one of these? Roll again. Roll again. We roll again. I'm going to level you next turn. For now, the Okapi's getting some stats. Okay, okay. There's something to this. You peace? Not you peace? We win these? Hamster, please. You're not a hamster. Level me? A pog unit? Kind of. <laughs> not, not really, but... Uh, sure, okay. At least it's permanent. I really wish you didn't have your damn cucumber now. It's like strictly worse than a husky. I would sell you for the time being. Purchase you. And then get some roll. Okapi, hamster. Okapi, hamster. Okapi, hamster. We know this is good, but I'm on a different vibe right now. Hamster. Bro, please. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Give give unfrozen shop pets 1-1. One, one. Okay, hold on. <laughs> That's a strong unit. That's scary for me. I'm still scared. I'm no longer scared. I think we draw this. I think we lose this. Clutch Iguana. Okay, we're still not even one away from lethal. Get out of here. I hate that sound, man. Another Capybara? I know you're not going to get the buff from this, but I got to think about it, okay? It's only like, I really only want it for like pivot rounds. Please. 
Ano copy! Sell me. On this round, we have to go on an insane journey together. We're gonna level that Okapi next time. For now, don't stop till you're numb. Oh, works five times per turn? You're worried it was too good? Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> this is the strongest. This is the strongest koala I've ever seen. Okay, they've created a monkey build in, in pack three. More power to you. Now. Send me. Okay, plus two, plus two. Add me. I gotta think on this one for a second, okay? The frog play doesn't... I mean, I guess you could take your permanent 5-9-0 oh, copy and make it a 6-10 by buying a frog. But I don't think that's really the ticket. And then the seahorse would be ass, which would allow us to sell it for a better unit. You know what? There's something about that. But like, with God as my witness for right now, I can spend 5 gold and get... I mean, 30 stat points... I think you just roll five times and maybe keep a fox frozen rather than buying like one shitty animal that looks like it does something cool. Okay, a polar bear could actually do something for us in the future. Probably should have frozen the zebra and the fox. Hold on. A lion will actually pop, but with you have one trigger, one trigger. Buy me a lion, it comes out as a 10-10. It comes out as a 12-12. Am I... The husky. Oh, no. We lost. <laughs> Son of a bitch, man. Okay, pay out the doubters. I hate to say it. After everything we've been through... I feel like Koala Yak is actually the team that's crushed us the most. And also Vultures, for sure. It's very simple. You take two Iguanas and roll for a Seahorse. Maybe keep a Peach around. Okay. I know there's new animals in the weekly pack, okay? Just... Uh, well, I'm gonna get my ass beat. <laughs> let me let me get some purchase on this uh, on this heavy heavy stone. Then we could start getting our ass beat with the new animals. Okay. Let me let me figure out what the fuck I'm doing first. Then we can add three more animals into the pack. One of which apparently is broken anyway. And you just roll three tapers, you win every single time. Has he heard about taper strat? Has he heard about taper strat? Okay, we don't want this. We just want seahorses. Five iguanas. Don't mind if I do. Might as well buff me. This could be a long round. I think we may just lose to uh, this cockroach. <laughs> Come on, man. But one seahorse. One seahorse pogs us off. It's the most common animal in the game. Yes. Okay, I'm going to go weirdo mode for now. I need the leech to come out. I shouldn't have bought that first. What was I thinking? We're going to take... Take the leech for now. We'll buy the koala next turn. I'd rather get one extra leech trigger than just have a 1-2 koala out there faster. Maybe we could scale two koalas. Two koalas scaling simultaneously. Don't. 
You motherfucker. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Buy me? Combine me for now. Oh, no copy. Okay. Oh, copy that. Um, the thing is, when you get sucked, you're going to get sucked down to uh, like a 1-1 one, one anyway, I think. Or like, yeah, a one. you'll go down to a 1-1. One, one. I don't think that's the play. You could kill a pill bug to give some HP. That's probably more likely to happen than a level up. And you're giving up a 2-2 for a 1-1 one, one instead. I think that we could consider that acceptable. No, because it fainted in the shop. It's not going to give us the HP. <laughs> Look at this, though. Two, two, threes. At least we didn't get shot on the way. Roll me. Okay, desperate times call for desperate measures. No, I think this is not that bad. I don't like when the enemy gets more triggers than me. That's one thing where I see that and I say no. Okay, we're back to drawing. You would generate a faint trigger for us, but we don't care. Although it would at least leave us with a squad, but no, this is fine. Hold on, relax. Submissive Botox, certainly a great name. You can't do the pill bug strategy. We want yaks. I don't really care to see a, a woodpecker level up, but I'm going to keep you frozen because I'm, I'm lost. I'm adrift right now. You give attack, take away HP. I'm going to give that to our leech. Because our leech is stealing attack anyway. Or stealing HP anyway. I can't believe we got enough iguanas to get a level 3 on like turn 3. And then also, we keep getting more iguanas. It never ends. What the hell are you doing to me? What's happening? What, you got synergies? Hold on. The joke is on me. Okay, we drew. What the hell just happened there? Okay, I will level you. I suppose. You repeat it two times? That actually seems like it'll make both of our koalas better. Sure, fine, let's do it. But you need to not die, so I'm not buying you this shit. Please. Servers, please. More health? Honestly, now our, our leech could use a little bit more health. Sure, send me on a freaking ride here. Go ahead. You steal that, you get a little bit of that. You guys get buffed. Then it does, you get a little HP from the cucumber. Then we're going to shoot two times. Our koalas are each going to get an extra two, uh, two, two on them. Hey, anybody know what's happening now? Or... <laughs> We, we won! It worked! Okay, now the leech is popping. Okay, hold on. Does one damage, but takes two health. Okay, now we're talking. I could give you 
I could spend six gold to give you a pair. I refuse to do that. Fish for a koala or something that, that appeals to you. I mean, for now, I will give you like a grape, okay? Just take a grape. It's an investment in our future. Three doves. I certainly feel like we could look at a fortune cookie leech as if it has some positivity. We're not getting sniped 20 times at the start of this game, so that, that seems like that might be a positive for us. Oh my god. It was not a positive for us. <laughs> We're on lethal. Just give me a koala. Just give me one more koala. Okay. I think you choose to lose the grape. And then you add a second leech. Probably freeze a pepper. I like, this just seems fair, because you're, that is pretty good, um, you're, yeah, that seems pretty good, um, you're stealing 2 HP for 1, you know what, get the iguana out of here, add you to the damn squad, I want our piranha to get hit if, if the piranha gets hit two times, it's going to die. So I would rather have it get hit once and then get hit once in battle. Yes, I respect it. Everybody in chat thinks they're so smart right now. I got it all figured out. He's insane. Get ready for this. You're about to experience true misery. You do not get to it. You do get to attack once. You're about to experience true misery. Although I will say one of our leeches is going to die. That's a problem. Koala. I need a strong koala, please. Stronger, 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 stronger. That's not strong enough. <laughs> All right, we lose. We're dead. I don't know what to tell the believers. Like, we've, we've paid out doubters, like, probably six games in a row. People are like, fuck, I'm all in on belief. What is wrong? Search inwards. Look at yourself. Chib, you did make it. We got, we got 24 minutes. Okay, run it back. I will take an iguana. I will take two of these because they could level up and not worry about synergy so much round one. We'll, we'll, this is a great shop. I'm, I love where we're at right now. Must be an adorable monk. We win this. Cockroach is not doing anything except killing one of our units. We draw this? We lose this? <laughs> but we win this. Okay. Yes? Yes? Level up next turn. Make your iguana strong. Roll. Don't stop till you're numb. This is a great round one shop. I wish there was a points leaderboard. I saw that uh, Yasuo launched like a shop where he could reward his viewers. He's pivoting off of channel points and moving to like some stream elements point service where you can redeem your points one for one. And then you can redeem it for like real cash or prizes that range up all the way to like a Rolex. All I could think about was, man, if I launched that, you know what my email inbox would look like? From people who are like, I thought channel points were worthless, so I gave away a million of them on. <laughs> uh, 
I, I gave away a million channel points on random bets. I didn't know I could have gotten like $500 for that. People, people would lose their minds, man. I guess some people didn't just treat channel points as a joke and instead they treated it as like a legitimate loyalty program and now they can do stuff like that. And I'm, I'm like, oh man, what have I done? Okay, we don't need to adjust the squad here. This is fine. Right now, we don't, look. You're like, I don't know if you're a trap, but I think we got to get you to like level two instead if we're going to do that. So I'm going to level you up next turn. Would I like to swap anybody's stats around? Not really. So let's invest in some rolling. Okay, sure. Let's invest in some rolling. I'm okay with that. It's a dangerous time to only have two units on your squad. Okay, great stuff. Level me. Buy a toad. Okay, I'll admit, you know, the squad's looking pretty freaking familiar. If you've ever seen uh, me play with this pack before, you're probably saying this looks very similar to stuff that we've seen in the past. Get moved, get shot. Okay, we do need to make the toad stronger than the iguana, ideally. Hold on, we're winning these. Can you believe it? Buff me. Buff me. Don't need a puffin. I always want an Okapi, but you know what? Maybe it's not the right time. Wait, we... Oh, because you're stealing so many buffs from... Yeah, okay. So the bird is making the iguana and the toad not synergize nicely together. That's okay. That's something we can talk about in the future. We can't really do much about it right now. This seems like we're dead. Yes. <laughs> Not by much, though. Not by much. So we would actually like... As This might seem like overkill. If we're going to keep an iguana for now, we have to override the strawberry. And we have to give a berry to the toad instead. Though that's a heavy price to pay. It doesn't sting that much because all the other animals... Um, that are available right now are ass anyway. I love this, though. Holy cow. Am I insane? Did we actually just get units we already have? Now you're gonna get hit and moved. And then shot, you don't get moved. That's not how the sea... Now you get moved, and then you get... Now you get... At some point, you get moved and shot. Okay, we take our draw there. <laughs> the toad is sick, man. I'm, the toad is, is the obvious winner of this pack right now in my world. Why don't you level up? We absolutely have to try to make a Stegosaurus work. Unless we're just, like, fishing for lions. In which case, I feel like that would make me a bit of a scumbag. Now, this is interesting. This is mighty interesting indeed. That's not a Stegosaurus. You know what? When you put it that way, you're not wrong. <laughs> I think we could freeze an orangutan as well. So now, I think the whole game plan here, what the hell, is we're pivoting the whole squad. Because, I mean, we're losing right now anyway. We might as well pivot the whole squad. We need to get a squad that can work late game. Now, the pivot is always dangerous. We don't need an iguana anymore. I like that you're still buffing the toad. That would be the first unit to go. If you don't need an iguana, you don't need a seahorse. 
This means you can buy an orangutan as a scaler. You can sell a seahorse. Maybe try two stegosauruses for a moment and see what happens. See what comes up. Obviously don't need another bird. If you were wi if you're willing to give yourself a chance, you could sell hummingbird, buy mantis, and kill a blobfish in front of the triceratops. I'm going to give myself a chance at a future. Is there risk involved in this? I don't know, maybe a little. Now, why don't you take some extra HP for the time being? Now our toad gets buffed. Mm, that might not have been optimal. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> yeah. The solace that I take in that is we were going to die anyway. Even if we ran that seahorse squad. I'm getting, I'm getting bodied, man. Sure. I mean, you, the great thing about this game, you can just look at it yourself. You can look at how that would have gone if we, if we had stuck with the squad. Seahorses are two threes. We try them. And an iguana. Okay, three seahorses. And I think a kiwi is decent. Let's be a sniffing underdog. <clears throat> I just need to find a meta that works. This is like, it's been an embarrassing run, don't get me wrong. But I like, I can't win in the early game. I can't win in the mid game. I just get bodied in the late game. Take a strawberry regardless. Take one of these. Take one of these. Roll me. Okay. So we're going to have a super seahorse. Seahorse iguana till round three. I don't sweat it. I don't sweat it. I see you've got a cockroach build. Ain't trying to hear that. We win this. Okay, that's two wins. Two early wins feels great. Combine. Combine. How about a 2-5? A 2-5 weirdo dromedary. You also know you're going to add an iguana. Let's make our seahorse better. We'll keep the kiwi for a second. We don't need a bird. We gonna take a better iguana? I think we would take a better iguana. Would we take? I wish the Atlantic puffin was like a hedgehog that did damage to all units for every strawberry pet. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Freeze a strawberry. Don't. We got space for a puffin. Or we could roll two iguanas. Two iguanas. Okay, we lose this one for sure. But I have solace knowing if I ever play them again, their birds are going to be terrible. Those birds are going to weigh them down. Sell me. I still don't think we want two strawberries now that I think about it. I don't think we want a puffin. Or do we want a puffin? <laughs> I think it's six gold to enable two damage at the start of the match. I don't see it, man. What I do see is three gold for this sick iguana. Then uh, unfreeze you. Thank you. It's round four. We'll get you popping next time. Take a little bit of extra HP. 
Doubting is just free money. CJ3X10. CJ3X10. Holy cow. Um, start me here. Yeah, start me here. Something looks mighty interesting about this one. You just got locked. You know when a pinball machine, when a ball gets sucked down and locked? You just got locked. Okay, we are gonna lose this round though. I bet you feel like a damn genius right now. <laughs> but next round, next round, get ready. Holy shit. It's the same damn team. Is it a new team or just iguanas again? No, 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 no. Yeah, this is what we wanted. We wanted to see one good unit. Roll me again. What the hell? Friend faints. Push first enemy to the back. Okay, keep him around for a second. Keep him around for a second. We have a surplus iguana. What the hell? Did I not get to shoot because they didn't have anything in that position? It's the strongest ability in video game history? It's unbelievably strong? We lose by one HP? Okay, we're on lethal. You know we gotta do this. What would you buff? Right now you would buff a seahorse or a falcon. Neither one appeals to me. Sell me, buy a stronger unit. Honestly, honest, honestly with God as my witness, honestly, sell me. Rather than combine me, I wanna fit this orangutan and we're gonna buff this hawk a little bit. You're gonna shoot position two, I'm okay with that. We should have moved the donkey behind the orangutan. That could make a big difference, but hopefully it doesn't. 2318 unit. Get sniped, get hit, get sniped, get hit, get hit, get moved, get sniped, get moved, get hit, get hit, get moved. Okay. Maybe we could squeeze a level two Falcon in there. What's getting buffed? The Falcon, no, probably the donkey right now, depending on how the tiebreaker works. The unit with the lowest health. Okay, the donkey takes some health, so the Falcon may prosper. The Falcon gets double damage 50% of the time. It buffed itself. Okay. I understand. That's fine. I'm, I'm happy you're, you buffed yourself, honestly. You should be kind to yourself. What a, what a snipe. What a smack. You get moved. You get, you get moved. You get sniped. You get hit. You get killed. Okay. Something's happening here. Level 2 Falcon. I want you to take the buff. No, that's the opposite of how that works then. That's how it works. But now you have two damage, <laughs> which is not great. Um, hold on, freeze me. I want that Falcon, man. I want that Falcon. No Falcon? Give me a grape. I think it's the perfect time to add like a pseudo swan to the team. Lion will really hit the spot on this run. We're, we're shooting the right unit. That's great news. You're dead. I fainted. Units are getting shuffled. They're getting shuffled. They're getting shot. They're getting shuffled. They're getting shot. You're getting killed. Five wins. Okay. Give me, give me this damn hawk, man. Which I think I called a falcon ten times in a row. But anyway. 
We need some tacos. We need a lion. We need a hawk. Look. I'll freeze you. I'm not really like super sold on that, but I'll freeze you for now. This is what we wanted to see. You would give a 3-3 to one pet behind you. But you are a 2-8 yourself. I don't feel like I can give up something for this. I'm going to give a pepper to our donkey. Our donkey will also take the orangutan buff. We made it to the believer threshold. That's like a dream in and of itself. Just to get the... I gotta lower the threshold to five, man. We're shooting the right unit. We're shooting the wrong unit. We're shooting the... You got a 50... You got a 50 strength unit on your team. We're dead. We're absolutely dead. We needed like two crits to happen there. Without dying. All right, pay out the doubters. Um, It's the hardest pack that's ever existed in Super Auto Pets. You have to have a PhD to understand uh, how to play it. I hate to say it because now like I feel like I'm becoming the guy who's like, I lost, change the game. But now I'm like, I feel like they kind of got to change the, the HP reduction algorithm now. Like now, instead of like, you lose one, one, two, two, three, 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 three till the end of the game. I'm like, now I feel like they got to go back to like, you lose one HP per round. So you actually get a chance to pivot off of, you know, Panda Seahorse and then hope you get a lion at some point. I feel like they got to slow down the rate of HP reduction now. 